<laughs> I also like buses. enough about them. I'll have big putting some information at the bottom of the screen. So yes, my favourite single decker is the Lila National. That one's a Lila National too. I prefer them with the hump on the back. Much like that one. That's lovely. In my old Birmingham West Midland travel colours. Another guy. If you're not into buses, that's absolutely fine. I love all forms of transport, whether that's cars, buses, trucks, trains, anything really. Bristol VR. My favourite bus is coming through. It's a Metro, bu Metro bus Mark II. That's the one I would have travelled on the most. In my teenage years. I want to own one of them one day. Yes, you heard it here first. I want to own one. Never say never. Now the number in logic on the Westmoreland buses reflected the number plate, so 2462, so I'm expecting 462 to be in the number plate. Yeah, so you have 2462 as a number and 462 in the number plate. And again, even on the older ones of 4413, yeah, first digits. Don't know what the first digit actually meant, but the other three digits always reflected, or pretty much always reflected the number plate, which is, as you can see there, 413. I love it. Villa Park. We get an idea of how it's constructed, Oliver. Yeah. That is a proper mechanical stop warning there. Oh, proper old Midland Red. Look at that, that's beautiful. Tow truck, obviously. So hopefully one day that's going to be back on the road, everyone. Early post-war Midland Red double deck bus. Oh, shit. London Transport, but in green. Land Rover. It's great that such a place exists because it's ultimately keeping a bit of history going. I am a sucker for the old West Midlands passenger transport executive colours because that would have been when I was on the bus all the time. It's the garage working method of the bus, isn't it? Yes, so, well. yes it is, yes. You know, it's up to the point that you can do it. You are following a vintage bus, it says. 
This is where I hope Fran's going to get um, get a purse out. Purchases have been made, everyone. Bit of history for me there. Oh, there's a little bit of flicker going on, but it's not too bad. Old signs. Lion Tiger. Little milk float, little electric milk float. That's how your milk used to be delivered, Oliver. Little battery operated milk float. The milkman or milk lady would leave your milk <laughs> by your doorstep. Oh, yeah, on your doorstep. And, and, if, and if you were lucky, the kids didn't steal it before you got up in the or morning. The the Daimler engine Metro Camel. The 1920s. Now, I wouldn't have actually got on one of these. This is too old, believe it or not, even for me. However, it's still a pleasure to be able to get on one. Have a look at this. Oh, wonderful. How many children will have tapped that glass to annoy the driver? Oh, yes. Many. Oh, yes. I'm guessing you can go upstairs, it's not barriered off, is it? Nope, I was thinking that. Mind the step. I guess that's for baggage. Yep. I'm not sure my knee will cope with this, but I'll have a go. I was that child that would always sulk if I didn't get onto the front seat. <laughs> always the driver's side front seat. Probably because I wanted to feel like I was driving the bus, I don't know. Even though it's upstairs. <laughs> I feel quite hard. You broke your that? Yeah. No idea. You don't know what that's for? Lighting your matches. I thought, right, okay. I thought it might be that. You had a the front. Yeah. Everyone watching the video, all three of you, <laughs> we'll probably have known what that is then. I didn't know that. Thank you for that history lesson, Bran. <laughs> I thought you weren't old enough. <laughs> so you look in the mirror, look, Alice, you can see whether somebody's coming up the stairs before you go down. Oh, I was going down. Well, yeah, I know, but this is what the mirrors are for. A tuple. Go on then, Alice, reach to the other step. That's because it is. Older than you. <laughs> Older than me. Yeah, it loves it. I'll take that compliment, Alice. All the old luggage of this is a proper touring coach huh. with the pop up windows tinted, obviously, to try and keep some of the sun out. Mm -hmm. And again, they've got little ashtrays on the back of the seats. Yes. Mm -hmm. the engine is hiding under that cover, Oliver. <laughs> This is one of one of the piano fronted one. So named because of the shape, of course. There's a coach broken down, and our coach has gone to replace that coach, so we haven't got a coach. You ready? Yep, yeah. put the cap on. One, two, Rory, are you ready to smile, go? Big smile. Oh, 
didn't recognise that one. I'll put that what, what that is in the bottom of the video. Yes, I appreciate that the older stuff is wonderful, but I am drawn to the Metro Bus Mark II hiding behind the rather oversized bottle of milk. I'll have a look those in a minute, but that, I want to own one of those. I just do. I'm hoping to get a ride on one today. And this will be a Metro Bus Mark 1. I'll be satisfied, in fact I'll be very happy just to have that, but... And I shouldn't say just, but definitely the Mark 2 for me. If somehow I'm able to find one, and the storage for one. There's another bus I want to get a ride on today, which is the Fleet Line, because of course when I was, well, age, I don't know, seven, eight, it would always have been the Fleet Line. Very distinctive sound. Always sitting on the rear seat downstairs with the smell of the engine fumes coming through the heater above you. Remember it well. So Fuzz Townsend, I'm sure it's one of these Fleet Lines that Fuzz has got. He loves his buses too. Fair play to him. Oh my poor knee, I'm getting old. If you had smell of vision, it's a lovely smell. Even if I have to decarbonise my lungs afterwards. My Lyland National, I would more than happily have. It's the only single decker that I'm interested in. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, love that. I'll put a link to the I'm not going to moan about that because I love the sound of them. I'll put a link to the Whiffle Transport Museum in the description below the video, everyone. The only surviving, as far as I know, piano fronted bus is en route back in. That's history right there. <laughs> that is what I would have travelled on and that's what I'm going to travel on now
me personally, I think that's took me back to about 1974. Wonderful. Now, of course, you've just seen an edited version of the bus ride. If you want to see more of that bus ride, I'm going to have an unlisted video. Now, an unlisted video on YouTube simply means that it doesn't appear on the channel if you're searching for it. But if you use the link that I'll put in the description below, you'll be able to see the, un edit the unedited version of that drive. Look in the link in the description below. A little ride on the choo-choo. The old signs, look, fries, chocolate, Coca-Cola. There's me Lila National too, that I like. Yeah. Fleet line. Mark two it is. Happy days. Afternoon. You're about to make my day, my friend. Thank you very much. Huh? This has made my day. This is my seat. Now I'm a very happy chap because this is the bus I would have travelled on as a teenager. The actual bus. Shall we go and get on the bus then? If you made it this far in the video, you obviously like your buses. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. That was Whipple Transport Museum, a link for which will be in the description below the video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube algorithms it was a good video and more people should watch it. If you're not subscribed, there's going to be a link just about there in a few moments. Hit it, it's completely free. Shows your support and helps build the channel. Thank you and see you soon.